What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. Today we're starting a new academic year and the fifth season on my channel. I love new beginnings as they're perfect to make a fresh start and to set objectives in general and English-wise. In today's lesson, I want to share with you my daily routines in terms of English and also I'm going to talk about new habits that I want to build from now on. Are you ready? If so, let's kick off! First, I want to touch on my five daily habits to maintain my English. Apart from teaching English on a daily basis, and I've been doing it for the past 10 years, I also do other things for fun. So my favorite activity to improve and maintain my English is watching movies and series. I usually watch series while having lunch and dinner. Without a doubt, this simple daily habit improved my English greatly. I remember when I first started watching everything in English, it was tough, tiring and difficult to follow. But I can tell you that consistency together with patience will help you get to the point at which you can understand nearly everything and be proud of yourself. And guys, remember this super inspiring phrase, where there is a will, there is a way. Impossible is nothing, and if you work hard and keep going, I'm sure you succeed. And I've made several videos about my favorite series on Netflix and Amazon, and I'm going to leave links in the description box. And now let's move on to my second daily habit, which is listening to music. I absolutely love listening to music and I do it every single day. Not only does it lift my spirits, but also help me memorize and learn new words. I usually check the lyrics of songs I like and this option is available on the app Amazon Music Unlimited. I recently started using this music app and it's amazing. Thanks to it, I discover lots of new songs. And if you want to have a 30-day free trial, click on the link in my description box. Number three, settings in English. I make sure that my phone, my computer, my social media, everything is in English. I think that it's a very simple thing you can do that will give you more exposure to English. And the more you're surrounded by English, the better. Number four, one English video on YouTube every day. Apart from consuming YouTube videos for pleasure, for example, I'm into astrology channels, I also watch one English lesson made by other English teachers on YouTube. Not only do I get inspired, but I always learn something new. I recommend picking five or six English teachers and watch a different channel every day. For example, you can watch one English bit every Sunday. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite channels. I watch Amigos Ingleses, I also like English with Lucy, mm, English, English with Vanessa, Eat, Sleep, Dream English, and Fluency English Journey, to name but a few. And last but not least, I try to jump at every opportunity to speak English. I love making new friends or, for example, having a drink with people who speak English, for example, my former colleagues, etc. In the second part of the video, I'm going to tell you how you can put your English into practice. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder, please make sure 
you're subscribed to English Vids if you like this channel and make sure that your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. So guys, the first thing I'd like to do more this year is to read in English. To tell the truth, I'm not an avid reader and I should cut down on social media and invest this time in reading. I think it's super useful to improve writing skills and expand vocabulary, among others. So guys, please tell me about your favorite books and I would be very happy and grateful for your advice. And now let's move on to my second resolution, which is to write everything in English in my agenda. I love order and I use this agenda. And until now, I was writing everything in Spanish, but from now on, I like to start doing it in English because I can improve my writing skills and the same, it gives me more exposure to English. And the more things you do in English, the better. Let's move on to the third point, which I think is super useful, and it's doing a language exchange. For example, once a month. I think it's a win-win situation because I can help someone improve their Spanish, and at the same time, I get to speak English and practice it. On top of that, I can make new friends along the way. And the first website I want to start with is conversationexchange.com. So maybe you can use it as well. Number four, working on my American accent. I know that my accent is far from perfect and that's why this year I want to find an American coach who can help me improve it and work on my connected speech so that my English is more natural and connected. And I'm super excited about doing it and I'd say that this is my biggest objective this academic year. And guys, number five, I have nothing, so I need your help. Please let me know what you're doing and what is working for you to improve my English so that I can incorporate some of your ideas into my daily routine. Thank you. And guys, before we finish, I'd like to let you know that this academic course, I'd like to create some groups to help you prepare Cambridge exams. So if you're interested in having classes with me in a small group, please send me an email. You can find it in the description box. Thank you. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and inspiring. Let's get off to a good start together. And guys, don't forget, where there is a will, there is a way. And I'll be here to help improve your English every Sunday at 12 p.m. If you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you and see you next Sunday at 12 p.m. Ciao for now!